I'm your dude 4786. I have autism here. Hitting you well up with an, with another video. And um, another recording. Hopefully it won't feel too much like deja vu to you all. But uh, yeah, I decided to do another video again after I just did my first one today. So I'll be doing a bunch of videos at one time in, se in separate uh, segments and all. As I would say, seconds, whatever. Um, did not lighting. Mm. So I'm waiting on this Terminex dude to come over. And this place is going to smell like goddamn cigarettes. Cigars. But oh well. It's going to be aired out anyway. And it might even make the place smell a little better. <laughs> Could smell a little, little moldy. So yeah, my previous video is showing off part of the house here, the floor too, and how it had like craters in it and shit. Not there, indication that there was possibly termites, termite problems which were taken care of, and there's just a lot of work, man. This is gonna take months and months. It probably won't be done to like. It won't be done till like next year, like almost towards the beginning of next year. I don't know, we might be able to do it in the winter. Depends on the situation. So my mom plans to go back to first go to first go on the next vacation to the same place where we're at. And rent that house out again. So we got a book for next year around the time where there's um, around that time a record of hurricanes that occurred were five times. But thanks to the power of technology that the weather report can tell us days ahead of time when, when a hurricane's going to hit. So we can prepare our we can I can we can prepare our asses and get out of Frisco before it even gets close. If there happened to be a hurricane, which we hope won't happen, because we pay a lot of money for these uh, trips. Yeah, me and my mother invest in these trips, and it'd be a real bummer if we could if we had to evacuate the area because of a hurricane. Of course we would want to. We want to be stuck on Frisco and the Outer Banks during a hurricane. Just imagine how devastating that would be. If you're surrounded by bodies of water. And if you see the map for the Outer Banks and going towards Frisco, it was almost towards the end of the um, the island itself. It's a long strip. So when it floods, that place is underwater. It's underwater, man. And the only things that be standing above it are trees and houses and beach houses that have survived many, many moons of and many years of moons and hurricanes.
Sorry, I took a little moment of silence to make the rest of this. Anywho. Still looking forward to a 2021 trip. And my mom was a little disappointed when she found out my uncle Mitt was probably not going to come because with us because he had plans to him him and my aunt had plans to go to Hawaii on their next trip if they're open because they canceled they were supposed to go to Hawaii this year but they canceled due to COVID. Hopefully, uh, when they get into like phase three or so, they might be able to open up the the airlines. Maybe in phase four, if there is whatever phases, they are able to, they're able to open up airlines and stuff. They hopefully that would happen. They're hoping that would happen for them. A trip to Hawaii, man. Boy. Man, I'm telling you something. Like, as soon as the Terminix guy comes over and he's done doing whatever he has to do, I will... If he doesn't show up, I'm going out. I'm buying myself some frozen meals and shit. I ain't sticking around. I ain't waiting around much longer. I might. It depends. I haven't decided if I want to go out yet. Um, buy frozen meals and shit, but whatever. Let me up with another one of these babies. Because with cigars, you're really not supposed to really inhale all that much. Not like cigarettes. Um, I'm only going to do this one time to demonstrate how you smoke a cigarette with a cigar. I don't want to do it too much because you could get sick. <sighs> I breathe that all in. Get hair in my throat, my voice. And that's why I can see throat cancer. But with cigar, I can, I don't know, Somebody, some people know how to make uh, little puff rings. Almost got it. I can make it some puff rings. I don't know, maybe. I'm going to show you all around a bit after I'm done smoking this. Show my room and like the Hornet, like, because we haven't been there like five years, a little more than five years, um, 
uh, to kill a hornet's nest. Take that down. I'm going to show you the hornet's nest, man. That I had to take down. And the bee's nest. And I sweep a bunch of stuff. There's a lot of trash to be taken out, man. A lot of it. <laughs> Almost got nailed down. Trying to practice doing the rings. Okay, I do it nice and slow. There. Yeah. I can't. It's I got. I gotta learn. I like to keep practicing to get the rings. But that's gonna be a lot of secrets. You might get in the you might yeah, you're gonna probably get cancer before you before you actually nail it. Nah. Man. This will last me a good few weeks. I shit you not. At least, this will last me about a two, a, not in a few weeks, but maybe two, if, you know, if I'm conservative enough, a few weeks. Some people go through a pack a day. It takes me about a week. It takes me about a week to go through a pack of cigarettes, at least, but, um, or at least more than a week. I'm trying to master the smoke rings, but I can't. I don't have that ability yet. The Lord of the Smoke Rings. Real tall. Yeah, man. I really want to go out. I really want to eat something. But I gotta wait for the Terminix guy to show up. It's a real bummer. A real bitch. But, uh, that, um... When you wait for something, you have to sit there and wait for it. I remember one time, like, last... I think it was last year, I had to sit in this house and wait for... Around, around winter, I had to wait for a guy to show up with my... Segway. Segway mini bot. It was going to be delivered to this house. And. And I picked it up. Finally got it.
Now I'm so excited to. Man. It's such a gloomy day, it's such a cloudy day outside. So wet, so dull. So boring. So this is place. This is a uh, shop called CHKD. It's where I bring. We bring a lot of our stuff that is usable, that we don't use anymore, but someone else could use. Pack it in bags or boxes and bring it over there. You know, bringing a lot of stuff over there for CHKD, and they will not let you in unless you wear a mask. Like a lot of places are. So a lot of places in Elizabeth City that don't that will just let you shop anyway, even without a mask on, because it hasn't really been enforced yet here, not all too much at least. I think I'm almost done with this. I didn't really, other than, you know, the messiness of this house and all and the rooms and all that, there isn't a whole lot for me to show. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all something here. I'm going to take a little walk. Let's go take a walk and it's a little bit of talk. Okay, we got the fan running to help with circulation of the house. There's the bathroom and all the trash we're going to put in here. For you all in this trash. This is my room, y'all. I was trying to nail something to the, to the wall here. But it looks like a glory hole. <laughs> looks like something you put your penis in. I would not stick my dick in that. That is one. That is a dirty, dirty hole. I'm not sticking it in there. I don't know how they I made fun of that hole that I made. Like, oh, uh, I could stick my dick in that. But really, I was trying to nail a a poster to the wall, but. When I did, I got I got a little frustrated holding it up straight, and I ended up hitting too hard and causing a hole. This one was from Rough Housing, you know. When me and my brother, well, me and my brother were living here, we were Rough Housing, and I ex and we makes and we accidentally made a hole in this wall right here. And you can see where the hornet's nests were at. Which I had taken down. And this dirty ass mattress we had to take care of. Man, this is fucking disgusting, dude. Like, oh my fucking gosh. This is not my room. And at least not anymore. <laughs> when I was 2013, I was playing Sandra's. Like, I had all this shit hanging up, man. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? Light bulbs don't work. Everything is falling apart here. And so good. This is what happens. This is disgusting. It is unlovable. Like, this is like... Those... It looks like those apartment buildings that you see in New York that are so fucking run down and shit. But even... I think even some of those even actually look a slightly a bit better than this. <laughs> this is... This is... This is... Full on fucking uh, unlivable conditions.
And I am embarrassed, extremely embarrassed to do it, but I'm doing it because I love my fans, followers, and subscribers just enough to be open up enough to them about what I'm having to face here because this is what I do on my channel. I talk about all the shit that... I talk about all the stuff that is normally hard, too hard, and somewhat too embarrassing to talk about. I do things and step out of the rumps and do things that most people would dread or wouldn't even barely dare to do. But I do it. And that's what, and that's that. And that's all for this video. And I just want to say... As your high-functioning autistic YouTuber, it has been my pleasure to do what I do here on YouTube and spread my acceptance of autism here on YouTube since 2015. Thanks for watching, y'all, and peace out.